When we're tasting, um, especially red wines, the tannin builds up in your mouth quite a lot and you need a little break and having something like an olive, a green olive, just freshens the palate. Um, that's quite cool. And another one's, um, sounds a bit weird, but sniffing a cold tea bag that just brings your nose back to, back to life. One of the interesting things um, with some of the different smaller or less known varietals um, is interesting. So Gewurztraminer is a good example where New Zealand actually grows the second largest amount of Gewurztraminer in the world after Alsace. What we often hear is uh, people, uh, when you're tasting wine and describing a wine, you might say, oh, this wine smells of gooseberries, and people actually think there's gooseberries in the wine, and they're all made from grapes. They're not, there's no gooseberries, no strawberries. It's all um, grape wine. Really um, know about phenolics in wine. Phenolics are really important. They give the wine a lot of characteristics. And it's things like the skins and, and the stems from the grapes, and it gives the wine a bit more character, and I don't really understand what phenolics was, but it's such an important part of the wine. So when you see that listed, it's, uh, it's, it's only a good thing. Don't be scared of the name. <laughs> an interesting fact about wine is it keeps you young. I'm 100. <laughs>